Welcome to Task Affairs. Task Affairs is brought to you by Imo State Internal Revenue Service. My name is Chinaza Mwoke, your host. Today on the program, we'll be looking at PE, what employers and employees have to know about PE. But before we go ahead, We'll be entering the streets of Oware to find out people's opinion on PE, what employers and employees have to know about PE. I'll be back shortly. Internal audit or save more markets, please. Okay. Do you people will deduct PE from your workers? Yes, of course. I pay is pay as you earn. So we deduct it according to your level of salary and the percentage designated to the doctor. Okay. When was the last time you emitted your pay? That was last month. Glad to have you back to the studio. If you just tuned in, this is Task Affairs and it is brought to you by Emu State Internal Revenue Service. My guest on the program is Mr. Tony Awuchogo. He is the head of PE Desk IIRS. He will be telling us more on PE, what employers and employees have to know about PE. Mr. Tony, you're welcome to the program. Thank you, George. Thank you for having me here. Thank you, Imolite. It's good to be here. Yes, uh, that is Mr. Tony Ahuchogo. He is the head of PE Desk, Imo State Internal Revenue Service. Mr. Tony, if I may ask, what is PAYI? Thank you very much. PAYI is an acronym which means pay as you earn. It is a method of collecting personal income tax from persons and individuals under unemployment. Okay. Who pays for PAYI? Yes. A very nice one. Uh, PAYI is paid by individuals and persons under unemployment. Is there any law backing the deduction and remittance of pay? Yes. Um, in every tax, there is a law back in it. There is no tax that actually exists without a law. And pay is never an exemption. So it's Personal Income Tax Act, specifically it's Section 81. Is anybody exempted from pay? Before now, all incomes are, especially those individuals or persons under unemployment, no matter what you earn, pays pay. But from 2019, we will have um, 2019 Finance Act, which took effect in 2020. So that law, that Finance Act, exempted persons on individuals who earns below minimum wage from paying payee. What is the percentage rate of this payee? Yeah, the law actually make provisions. When I say the law, I mean Personal Income Tax Act. 2011 as it amended. We have different rates. We have 7%, we have 11%, we have 15%, we have 19%, we have 21 and 24, which is the last percentage. So this percentage is actually applied based on individual's income. If in a year, my income, my total emolument in a year is, let me say, 1.2 and yours is 2 million. So this rate is applied on different stages of income. This rate, let me take it from there, is applied on the stages of mm-hmm. income. Exactly. Yes, uh, their listeners will be going on a short break now. We'll be back after this timeout. Gracie, this one you're pressing your phone so serious like this. Hope there's no problem. My brother, I'm trying to enroll for IMSIN that everybody's doing, so I want to be left behind, though. Ah, uh-uh. ah. What is IMSIN now? Mm-hmm. Is a composite human state social benefit number for all individuals, corporate bodies, and entities residing and operating in human state. Guess what? It is free! Hey, wait. I don't want to be left out too. So, how do I enroll now? My brother, if you snooze, you lose. So, kindly visit www.imostate.tax for personal enrollment. While for corporate enrollment, you need to visit 76 Okigwe Road, opposite civil defense, for a swift service. 
Ah, let me go and get my own now. Imo State Social Benefits Number is the identification number for all Imo residents. It is free. Get your own today. Glad to know that you are still there. The program is Task Affairs and it is brought to you by Imo State Internal Revenue Service. I have in the studio Mr. Tony Ahuchogo. Mr. Tony is the head of PE Desk Imo State Internal Revenue Service. Yes, uh, Mr. Tony, now we want to find out what is an filing of returns by employers. The law, Personal Income Tax Act 2011, has been amended, specifically in Section 81, Subsection 2, obligated, stated that all employers of labor, both private and individual, are expected to file returns to the Internal Revenue Service on or before 31st of January of every year. This return is kind of, is a, a file return. This return is simply all the total emoluments paid to these individuals, to these staff, and all the taxes deducted from these individuals. You know, they are expected to be paid to file. Filing means to submit at the end of the year, on or before 31st of January, to the Internal Revenue Service. The essence of this filing is it enables the Internal Revenue Service to check the accuracy of deductions by these employers of level and also to, to know if the actual deductions were actually made in line with the tax law. Now, what is the difference between annual returns or payee and payee remittance? Oh, very interesting one. Yes, when we say annual returns, annual returns just simply means submission of all the employees' emoluments and deductions in a year to the Internal Revenue Service, while um, that of remittance means payment of this payee as at when due. I have uh, some SMS here. The phone, some are calling, some are already uh, giving me SMS on the okay. phone, trying to find out more about uh, this payee. And this is coming from Pastor Emmanuel from Aladema. He's asking, he said, Is there any incentive given to anyone who remits their payee as at when due? Oh, good. Um, yes, when an individual or organization remit payee as at when due, it actually exonerates that particular. Uh, employer from penalties for not remitting us at 20. Also ask, is it how do we know that our payee is channeled to the right source? Oh, that's a very that's a very intelligent question. Yes, how to know if an individual's payee is channeled to the right source is one. The staff of every employer should request, after being worked for like three years, even less than three years, request for task clearance certificates. You know, because it is through the task clearance certificate you can actually find out if your employer has actually remitted their pay because if any employer did not fall in remitting the pay of their staff, then definitely there is no how they will they will request for task clearance certificates of their empl employee. And also one such employee is free to visit Internal Revenue Service to actually find out if his or her employer is actually remitting their deductions from his or her salaries or wages. And finally, as they said, is there any consideration for late remittance of PE? Uh, when you say late remittance of PE, yes, the, the law says that there is a penalty for not remittance, which is uh, we have certain percentage for the amount not remitted. But when an establishment, as the law says, deduct and remit on or before tenth of the month, following the month of Deductions. So I should every every establishment should obey the law and do the right thing. Thank you so much for having you on the program, Mr. Tony. Thank you very much, and thank you for having me here. Is there any word for our listeners? Oh, very interesting. Oh, well, I will say that um, I will just encourage the the Imolite, especially the employers of labor in the state, to support the state government, ensuring that basic amenities is provided. And it's only through this our uh, taxes when we obey the laws pay our taxes as has when due, it will enable the state government, as the government is always doing wonderful, to provide all these basic amenities, good road, hospitals and schools. You know, it will really encourage the government. Dear listeners, our phone number is 070-44-143056. Let me take that again. 070-44-143056. You can email us at Task affairs at IRS dot Twitter or Facebook Imo Revenue 
Blog is at blog.iirs.im.gov.ng. Our website is irs.tax. And that's the much we can take on today's edition of the program, Task Affairs, which is being brought to you by the Imo State Internal Revenue Service. On behalf of the producer, Olori Femi Adedeji, the assistant producer, Chidema Obijako, the research supports Agba Isaac, Gracious Mbokwere, Chimeze Ibewuke, and to my editor, Chigonze Emeremgene, executive producer, Dr. Ifani Okeke. My name is Chinaza Moke. Okay. Hope to have you again, same time, same station, on the same program. Goodbye for now.